हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ संगीता परमार फ्रॉम अकाउंटिंग एंड फाइनेंस डिपार्टमेंट इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द इंडियन पार्टनरशिप एक्ट नाइनटीन थर्टीन टू सो इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म वॉट आर द एसेंशियल ऑफ अ पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म एंड वॉट आर द काइंड ऑफ अ पार्टनरशिप सो फर्स्ट मूविंग ऑन टू द फर्स्ट लाइट here you can see the indian partnership act 1932 where it is given the definition of a partnership which says that section 4 of the indian partnership act defines it as a relation between the persons who have agreed to share the profits of a business carried on by all or any of them acting for all means what there should be a relation between the persons who have agreed to share the profits of a business if for example a and b our friends they enter into an agreement where they have decided they will form a uh, one business in a on a partnership basis so uh, which will be carried on by both the partners or any one of them will be acting for on behalf of the all and they have agreed to share the profits or losses between the uh, between uh, the partners moving on to the next slides which uh, which is given you here the essentials of a partnership what are the important essentials of a partnership they have given you first they have given you two or more person second agreement third business fourth profit sharing and the fifth one is business carried on by all or any of them acting for all so first is two or more person to form a partnership firm there must be a minimum two persons and the maximum is no is totally the partnership firm is silent about this but as per the section 464 uh, of the companies act 2013 it is said that the maximum number for a partnership firm is 50 50 next they have given you the second essential which is the agreement which says that to form a partnership firm there must be an agreement between the partners third they have given you the business yes business is very much essential element of a partnership firm without business no partnership can be formed so there must be an essential business to uh, start a partnership firm next they have given you about the profit sharing so as we have seen the third essential that in a partnership firm the business is very much essential means the main motto behind of starting a business is the profit so uh, the profit will be uh, share between the part so the next essential is profit sharing and the third one is business carried on by all or any of them acting for all it means for example if a and b are partners and by some reason if b is unable to do the acts and on behalf of the b the b, a can act if suppose for example there are a b and c partners a and b are not able to you know do the acts or the activities uh, which are uh, of the business so on behalf of a and b the c can uh, act for the a and b partners so the last uh, essential is uh, business carried on by all or any of them acting for all moving to the next part which is, which is you can see it is given the kinds of the partnership where there are two categories so first category it is given on the basis of duration first is partnership at will now partnership at will means what when in a partnership firm or when there is a, a partnership deed where the termination about the partnership or the duration about the partnership is not at all given then that particular partnership will be considered as a partnership at will partnership for a fixed term when a particular partnership which is has been started for a definite period where the period is fixed for how much long the partnership is going to continue there is a definite period which is actually uh, mentioned in the partnership deed so it will be considered partnership for a fixed term moving on to the next slide which will uh, uh, you can see which is giving uh, the second category that is on the basis to the extent of the business uh, first they have given you about the particular partnership and the another one is a general partnership now what is particular partnership a person who become a partner with some other person in a particular undertaking or a adventure means means what if uh, to complete a particular task the partnership has been started and after the completion of the 
particular tax the past partnership will comes to an end so this kind of partnership will be considered as a particular partnership next uh, they have given you the general partnership so general partnership in which a business business arrangement or you can say a normal partnership where a, which will be formed by two or more person there will be an agreement between the parties or the both the uh, all the partners will be personally liable and responsible for the acts in the business so i hope you have understood the this session about the indian partnership act 1932 in which i have co covered this some of the important points that is the definition essential and the kinds of the partnership thank you so much